Guys, this episode was recorded back in 08, but it should have went out at least by 2012. So here we are, 2022, and enjoy. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. Whoa! All right, so we just got off live, and you guys won't believe this. Um, on live, I was going through some glass-like figures in the other room, and Chapo found a bunch of awesome money inside of the closet, guys. What's up, guys, and welcome to an episode of Storage Legends. It is about a day later after Chapo did find this crazy amount of cash inside of a closet. Guys, very awesome. We actually have a whole receipt here that follows it. I don't want to put any personal information on there. Um, and yeah, it's absolutely insanity, guys. It just kind of took the sifting to a whole nother level, guys, because we have no idea at any time we can, there could be jewelry, at any time there could be vintage comics. Guys, lightly, it almost, I almost feel like I want to flip this bed over. Let's see, nothing is under the bed. Let's see, in the middle part. Let's see here. Oh. Oh. Nothing in the middle part. But you can understand, guys, I mean, definitely could be money hidden in this house at any moment, guys. At any moment, somebody can find money. And yeah, just, wow. Like, oh man, some type of tools or something. It says, it says, go so. So guys, I think I might see something behind this wheelchair, but I really don't know if it's true. Look at that, dude! That's a safe! Oh! A safe. That is a safe! Whoa. Sensory safe. There's something on the underneath of it, too. I wonder if that's like a storage container that just goes this to like a recliner. A yeah, like one of those like storage, storage oh, boxes. What is this? Holy crap, a piano's in here. Sweet music. Ya Yamaha PSR 12. <whistles> nice little keyboard in here. Yeah. Keep looking in this closet like something's gonna come out. Definitely gonna wanna check the pockets. All right, guys. So that's the closet. Check the pockets of all the. Oh, whoa. 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 Happening though. Hold on. Yeah, no, Hold on. So wait, you 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 have a name tag. You're Roxanne. You don't want to give sure. up your name because you why? Because you're not affiliated. You need to speak to the postmaster. Okay, I'm gonna speak speak to the postmaster, He's but a carrier, but, all but there's is, like a lot going like on here. I don't like how you're making it seem like I'm like in like a wrong, and you don't want to like holler. You identify yourself. Yeah, as as an employee though, you're a federal employee. Yes, you are. You're. No, this is a. Not. We're not federal employees. Well, this is the U.S. United we States. Are the post office, but we are but, not federal. But employees. this is a government, government job. Is not. Okay. Well. Okay. Anyways, she said USPS is not a government job, and I thought it was. I just I don't I don't like your attitude about the situation. Yes, You're kind of making it seem like yeah. like it's. I know. I know. But I know. But you see the way he's kind of being like kind of yeah, standoffish in a sense. Help? Yeah, yeah, no, I don't need any help. I just need to find my packages and I need to get my packages back. And I don't need you to give me attitude about that, bro. Like, it's, you know, I, exactly I'm a nice exactly dude. Like, exactly I don't know why right. you're, you know what I mean? That's exactly, he's probably late for his shift. You're he's something, late. man. Something's going on. That's why. I turned on the camera really late, guys. This was after already they told me that my packages were done incorrectly when I know I've been doing them for three years the same way. Yeah, they didn't take Yo, I cannot believe this, man. This is absolutely crazy, dude. <laughs> 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 
And you're saying every single one of these is wrong? All these cubic footage is wrong. If you go, this is the measurement. They're wrapped the in black. They're that wrapped. Doesn't have it any. does you are, matter. You do not know about pirate Yeah, ships, I'm telling you, I'm we've telling been you, doing this for years. Huge yeah, Roxanne, this is this is a huge inconvenience. Customer service, government yeah, official worker or not. You you have um, you're just no it's, it's fine it's I fine here it's fine no it's fine no it's fine yeah, no it's fine it's fine didn't have smile. anything to do with yeah. this though he's yeah so no I know like I get it I get it I get it but we, so we do so like much this. business like he here he wanted though. to in inform us of something that yeah, like, we're doing wrong like I'm like though. I'm like did I come but you just came from Colorado wait hang on hang on a second did I did I did I was I no okay did I feel was I disrespectful to you did I disrespect you. Okay, so you can stay with us. It's okay. You're not you're not involved in the situation. Yeah, it's fine. I don't I don't want to involve you in the situation. But the fact that you're in an employee like uniform, and then like the condescending smile, and then it's like you sounds like you need to correct your packages. Like that's where. Well, that's what okay, I that's where we took too. the disrespect from. Is what I want to say. Like that's where we got offended. Because, okay, well, because my apologies. I got you, but this is a huge inconvenience already. And then we got Smirky Smirk over here well, acting like, acting like we. Just to be clear, Smirky Smirk is the one that says, sounds like you need to correct your packages. We owe him some type of like this extra respect or something. And I don't, a, I don't understand that. This is the second load that I've done. Saturday, I had to do this for another whole load. Yeah. And it went through. And then mines didn't then, go through? No, no, no. These were yours. Okay. They the, okay. The other ones went through, and then these ones didn't. But Why? The, because the postmaster said these have to go back. Okay. Because we don't want you in trouble with your customers. Not at all. I have so many customers all. worldwide. Um, but so we're gonna get a hold of the postmaster. Get this fixed, we got so you we identified, can, Roxanne. We're yeah. not gonna be mean at all. We had a good conversation. Yeah, Him on the other end, he doesn't want to identify his name. He works for the post office, and, and he still wants to run that narrative. That's fine, because we do probably more business than anybody in the city or district. Well, so it's 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 very wrong to feel this way when I'm so actively involved in this company. Well, we're so, trying to get this. Yeah, I got you, Roxanne. I'm gonna try yeah. my hardest to fit all of these inside of the car, and I'm sorry and, for the confusion. We'll make sure that we get this figured out like as soon as possible, yeah. or we'll just go to another post office because this was never an issue, Roxanne, yeah. ever. And we've been shipping for three years, 50 plus packages a day for and seven that, days. In like fact, the advice was day. every given. other day. She admits that she gets the packages every day, and the guy in the background just continues to just smile and laugh at the situation. And it's not funny. And that's why me and Chapo were looking at this guy like, what, what, who, does this, who does this guy think he is? Because was we given wanna, to us on, by hey. someone that works at the post office. Okay, okay, okay. That's it. I just, I can tell there's some new things going on here. Well, there is. And, and, and I don't... Post office changes all the time. I got it. I but got the it. The only but... information that we got was... No, Roxanne, the post office didn't change. You changed your district. You're new to the state. You're new to this facility. It's you. That the packages I was sending through Got you. were mislabeled. Got you. Okay. And that I had to fix it. So this is what they told me to do to fix it. Got you. Okay, Roxanne, I, I so, want to say, like, if I if I acted irate in any oh, way no. in this situation, I want to apologize. I want to apologize to you oh, because like this was a huge inconvenience uh, for me and my company because we do so much packaging and not only could we get the packages that we were meant to be sent out today, but we now have to get the packages of mm -hmm. yesterday as well. And that's why I tried to catch him before he unloaded yeah. them. And, and when we got off. here and we found out that you were new to this district, you're new to the state, and you're new to this area, it made perfect sense why there's an inconvenience. You, you're not new. So for you to act like that towards me as a customer, you're wrong and I don't care how you wanna defend it in any which way, you're wrong, brother. Okay, I'm gonna go and get, I'm gonna grab these packages and um and and thank you. No, no, at closing time. Just here, like ten, I, I know, he was just but, here 16 minutes but ago. But it makes a point to say I want. Okay, all right, we're gonna grab the packages. All right. All right, I'll bring I'll bring this. You can't get them all in. Got you. you got. Got you. I'm gonna try my hardest to get them all in. It looks like we're gonna have some difficulty, but I'm gonna try my hardest. Yeah. Thanks, Roxanne. Thank you. Oh my God, dude. Absolutely crazy, dude. I cannot believe 
this this is actually happening we're sitting here having to take back all of our packages right now and we've been shipping for how long we've been doing package and deals here for how long it makes no sense at all why this lady would reject our packages we've been shipping here for two plus years and the other guy just wants to have a smirky nasty attitude for no reason at all so that's why i recorded and i'm completely upset guys and it's it's one of those times right now is we're not we're now behind two days right now so i'm behind two days because we have a new worker in the state these packages i just cannot believe this all these packages have to go back and they're not even wrong that's what's so funny about it they're not even wrong all these are not even wrong they're poly mailers guys you only need two dimensions on the package if they're poly mailers it's a huge inconvenience for us that's it we're really good nice people we really respect everybody and every individual that comes across our path honestly like so anyways, yeah, you have a blessed day and I'll, I'll see you later. Matches, matches. What if it was filled with hundreds? Matchboxes. Levi's, XL Levi jacket, guys. Very nice corduroy. Looks like it's old. Okay. All right. Here goes another Levi jacket right here, guys. Another Levi jacket. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, um, with Levi here, here's a good idea here. Let's see. Okay, so you guys know energy with the capital E um, is the motto, but also Levi with the capital E is is the motto as well. Uh, that Levi only has a lowercase e. As you can tell, it's the second e. You want a capital E, and if you have a capital E, guys, the Levi pair of garments could be worth thousands of dollars. Oh, it's doorknobs or door hand or door hinges. A whole thing of door hinges just when we thought we were done. We are not done, guys. Tons of pants. Oh my gosh. Look at all these pants. Levi's. Just all Levi's, guys. You're going to want to check for those capital E's, guys. Remember, Levi with a capital E as well. Look it up, guys. Levi's with capital E's. Check them out on 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 any 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 e reselling site. You'll see that the Levi's with capital E's are vintage and they're worth a lot of money. So yeah, guys, definitely want to make sure that you go through all of the the things you're gonna wanna. We're gonna wanna see. I mean, if we could find that much money, who's to say that there's not any more? Let's see. Oh, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die, Guapo, don't die. Okay. What the heck? Oh, oh, man. It's a cigar case. Nothing. Nothing. All right, guys. We're going to have to go through all of these containers because... Look at what's going on here. Whoa, Big Jack's Originals. Oh, man. Travel, do you dare me? The expiration date is December 02, 2016. Do you dare me? dare you to eat the jerky oh man guys she dared me you're not gonna do it you don't think i'm gonna do it Chop? I, I don't think you're gonna do you it you don't think i'm a legend nope watch this right now 2016 expiration date I'll do it right now you don't think i'm gonna do it, I'll do it right now Oh, 
Oh, it's good. Oh. <laughs> 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 Guys, mmm. Alright, here we go. Let's see this other one. Ugh. Imagine if that was a can of sardines. Oh man, it might as <laughs> well have been at this point. Look at that. Camo. And then this is gonna be Harley Davison. Harley Black. Davison, how did you call that? I know my Davison. You know your Davisons. Wow. So that's pretty cool, a little banner. Harley Davison banner. Look at that fusion wow fusion shaver guys and then these two are project lights guys those are good for christmas man this is crazy at any point you can just stumble across twenty thousand dollars look at that nice big nice big uh super grip flashlight Alright. What's in here, guys? We're looking for the we're looking for the hidden million dollars, guys. There can be hidden money at any time. God's plan through the ages. Sheesh. Day of God, the saved nations, God all in all. A new earth. Wow, look at all the grapes. The New Jerusalem. Wow. Look, the earth. It says, oh, it said the earth and its works burned up. Holy crap. Time shall be no more. Holy crap. This is crazy. See, it's pretty intense, guys. It's things like this that'll make you think like, wow, what a crazy picture. There's a lot of symbolism in this. A lot of different symbolism. A lot of different meanings. Um, you know, who knows? Interpret it however which way you want. But this is pretty crazy. Okay, let's see. What the heck is this? Deluxe patch it set. Rear view mirror for a bike <clears throat> and a light. Not bad. Oh, Chapo! 20. Oh, just pens or buttons. Not my gum chop buttons. For a, for a certain, like, for a minute, I thought this was $20,000 in all hundreds. Hey, we got that nice Colt gear sign. I wonder if this works, guys. We should probably plug this up, right? All right, guys, not only did we find a gold ring, um, some gold-plated uh, clock, or gold-filled, I'm sorry, gold-filled, and we also found all these case knives you guys have been ra ranting about for a while now. So those are all excited things, but check this out. Here we go. Oh, it works. Nice. How cool is that? Let's see. Wow, it works. That is awesome, guys. That'll be on the auction. Let me go through this and let me look exactly what we found. I just spontaneously found that. I, know, I haven't looked at it yet. I haven't taken this wheelchair out. Problems. Okay. Okay. Wheelchair's out. Okay. Oh. Wow. Holy crap. It is a safe. Wow, it's a century safe. Water and fireproof. Holy crap. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Oh, it's freaking heavy. And it's open. Let me see. Look at that. Century safe. Fire and waterproof. Guys, I mean, you know what happened in the last safe. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this thing. 
You see, this is the stand <coughs> on the safe. Okay. Man. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, ho, ho, more beef jerky. I'll save that for later. Man. Yeah. Looks like it. Wow. Check that out. It's a whole other key. It's a casino. Casio. Casio. <whistles> casino. You reach that? That big priority box up there? You're pretty tall. You probably can. I am pretty tall. Alright. But I think I already know what it is. What is it? Um, because he was a diabetic and there Oh lenses. dang. So it's not really Yeah, my grandfather was a diabetic as well. Okay, guys, we're still gonna have to thoroughly look through this room again. This would be like the fourth time I went through this room, but I can only imagine what's like under all of these piles of clothes. You definitely want to thoroughly go through it. So let's go in the basement. What do you think? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Also, guys, also, don't forget about this whole entire box of just nothing but just political pins, guys. I mean, just tons of different. Jimmy Carter, Wallace. This is a Carter. Peanut Pal, American Needs Carter. Wow, tons of political pens. Vote Democrat Jimmy Carter. He goes to Reagan, Ronald, Ronald Reagan. Sheesh, guys, huge amounts of pens. What is that? Oh, guys. Chapo, you know snakes and gators aren't cool anymore. Oh, well, then in that case, here's a bunny. Oh! 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 Get away, bunny! Get away! Oh! Um, I walked out that way. I'm going to vote, yeah. Okay. Look at all these cards and cars and... You can see them like... We're talking some serious stuff here. All right, I think the first thing's first. I think we should probably, we should probably look at all these and see what we want. All right, here we go, Chop, we'll take them. Okay, we have a couple Barbies here, a couple Barbies, Halloween wishes, and then we have a Barbie Tweety, um, Pew Pew. Let's call cool. it Tweety, the Tweety picture at the top. All right. So we have a couple Fisher Price toys, another Barbie, another Barbie. This is a dream wedding Barbie. Guys, the amount of Barbies we're finding is absolutely insane. Guys, we're doing Barbie lots by the tens. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh man, look at that. Look at that, Nolan Ryan. Looks like these are Wonder Breads. Ooh, Barry Sanders. These look like these are Wonder Bread. Okay. That looks like a set for sure, so we'll put that aside. Those look really good. Wonder Breads hold value for sure. Let's see here. Football tops. Wow, check that out. Man, just a bunch of assorted different footballs. Kurt Warner. Stanley Morgan. Okay, let me grab some of these here. Look at all those, man. Dwight. Man, there's all kind of good ones, guys. These are cool because they're in their original uh well they're not an original sleeves but i'm pretty sure this collector just took the picture took the cards out and just put them right into the sleeves so those are really cool nice little box of cards okay let's see. got some little bit of paperwork Move the paperwork to the side we got some more boxes of cards pro set football cards Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. 
Ho, 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 ho. Let's see here, Bo Jackson. Nice. Look at all these different. Look at that. Roger Craig. Joe Montana. Sheesh. Packs of cards. Craig Wolfie. Bo Jackson. Oh, we got a rookie card down here. Sammy Smith. Here's that 89. Tons of cards. Wow. Derek Thomas, Brian Washington. Eric Metcalf. Mm -hmm. Don't know how to say that. Bobby Brister. Daryl Green for the Redskins. Another 89 rookie. Anna Joe Montana. That's sweet. All right. We got more boxes. We'll grab these out of the mix as well. Um, let's see. That looks like a Dunruss 86 or 85 set. I'm being, I'm good at the, yeah, 85 Dunruss. How cool is that? What the heck is all that? Whoa. 1979. Tops. Whoa, look, Michael Jordan. 1989 All-Star Game NBA Hoops. Michael Jordan. Look at all these extra cards right here. Let's see what else is there. Oh, man. Well, you got to open it from that way. Yeah, like that. Like that. What the heck are all those? There's got to be 70s. Okay, so they look like football cards. Bob Hayes. It's going to be a 1972 football set. <clears throat> it's 1972 football set and it's tops. Box says 1972. Whew. Whoa. And it looks like top loaders. Sheesh, look at all those. Wow. So that looks like 1972. This looks like tops as well. Sheesh. Those are probably the not rares. So we got 70s cards galore. Holy crap, Chapel. Look at these. So let's move that out the way. Oh, man. Two of those. Mm, Pirates Kent. So those have autographs actually on the card. If we go back here, or right here, let's see. Ooh, Luke Walker. Okay, mid box. We got the same set. Nolan Ryan. This box was tops. Okay. 1976, 77 tops. Looks like a set. Ooh, those are football cards. Nice. Cool. Cool. Let's see. Man, these 
these are just crazy amounts of cards. Tons of cards, guys. Tons. Let's see what's in here. Oh, yeah. We already seen this one. This is going to be a Topps 1979 there. That's a 79 set. Here we go. Tons of different cards here, guys. I mean, wow, guys. There's so many different sets. Like, I'm pretty sure that the Bernie Kozar rookies in that one. I mean, the sets are absolutely insane. It's so many cards. All from, like, the 70s, guys. So let me know who I'm looking for. In the 70s, there's tons, guys. Tons of them. And then under this is another set of cards. And then we have, like little packs of like pins baseball pins we got top loaded carlos bulgaras we got penny sleeved sets below joe montana's we have magic johnson cards this might be a full thing of magic johnson's yep full thing of magic johnson cards Um, got tickets to the Indians game, full sets of these, Tony Pierre, like Ozzy Smith, Eminem cards, tons of good ones, man. This is crazy. All right. Wow. Holy crap. The Mike Schmidt rookie's in here, guys. So I might be able to find a Mike Schmidt rookie. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, keep it in good shape. Keep it in good shape. Come on, Guapo. Sheesh, look at all these. Wow, I don't see that the Mike Schmidt rookie is in here, but I do see a lot of cards, guys. Tons of 70s cards, guys. This is actually a really good box. Um, tons of just different, different cards. You can just tell. At any time, though, you can find a card that's worth so many, so many thousands of dollars. So super exciting still to this day. Holy cards. Oh, it's a whole box of nothing but sleeves. Pages for binders. Crazy. It looks like that's going to be the same thing as well. Work lights. Ricky Johnson. Man, Ricky Jordan, let me see here. Okay, let's move these out the way. It unlocks so many more card boxes man this is just insanity so many cards wow it's gonna be a 1970 1970 Whew. that's a nice set right there that's a nice set okay let's see we got baseball trading card logos that's gonna be a 90s or 80s Really nice cards there. Let's see, look at all this. Look at look at all the dust on that. That is just crazy. Let's see, come on, be a good one. Oh. Wow. Oh, these are nothing but checklists. Wow. This is not this is a whole box of nothing but checklists, guys, from sets checklists that's just crazy guys this is a whole box of nothing but checklists i never thought i'd see the day let's see whoa that's gonna be a 1982 basketball tops basketball set and let's see the one we're all been waiting for here it is whoa no way she 
Sheesh. Are these all the same card, Chapo? No way. No. These are not all the same cards. It says 300. These are all rookie cards. A Vopici hockey. Guys, I don't know much about cards, guys, but I can I can tell you exactly what I'm seeing though. Let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh. What the heck? That's gonna be a 1982 Opeachy hockey, guys. These are all hockey Opeachy sets. There's just so many baseball cards in here, guys. We are just going through so many cards. Look at this. They're all full. Man, how crazy. How, I just keep going. Sheesh. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in cards, guys. Don Mattingly, look at all of that, wow. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in cards, guys. Look at that, look at that Um, that yellow box. That's the first yellow banana box we've ever found. All right, guys, let me see. I'm gonna give you guys kind of like a look, a sneak peek into every single box. Because we can pretty much know exactly what everything is. And you don't want to mess it up because they're in fancy containers and everything is like in grade 10 condition. So when we go through these, you want to be careful because at any time, something that you just found that could be so special could literally go and fall and drop in value beyond belief. This is gonna be football. Box from Rick. All right, Rick, come on. Tons of different car cars. And then this says score football. I was gonna double check and that was right, score football. All right. Sheesh. Tops, guys. I wonder if there's a Wayne Gretzky in here. Tops 1990 hockey cards. So there's a couple things I'm excited about. Oh, that says Wayne Gretzky doll upside down. How crazy is that? It says Wayne Gretzky doll. Wow. All right, let's see what's in here. Wow, all dead stock packs. Greg Swindle, sheesh. Let's see, it says clear BB sets. Wow, what the heck is this Oreo, guys? That's cool. Let's see, these are all, these look like all look Ozzy Newsome. These look like all sets of cards here, guys. Let's see what's in there. Hockey and tons of moors. More meaning, more cards. Wow. And at the bottom, would you look at that? Just sets and bricks of these cards, guys. Incredible. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. Whoa! I was not expecting comic books on the last box, guys. Holy crap, guys. Everybody, don't move. Don't move, Chapo. Don't move. Okay, here we go. Wow. Holy crap. These box... Okay, guys, this is what I was just telling you about. Condition is everything, okay? So let's, let's dive in and let's be careful. Holy crap. What the heck is this? 
Michael Jordan. Oh, oh my God, Chapo. Chapo, Chapo. Oh, they're empty. No. Oh, oh. Oh, these are all empty. I'm going out of order. Oh, man. Okay, okay, here we go. Marvel Spotlight on Captain Universe. Shade Changing Man. Oh, these are a bunch of Shade Changing Mans. World's Finest. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Marvel and Iron Man and Captain America. Those are good. Shade. Super Villains. What is this? What is this? Jimmy Olsen. Ooh. Super Superman Family. Oh man. Okay, here it is. Okay. Jetsons, the Momsters, another Jimmy Olsen, the Pink Panther, there it is, wow, Pink Panther, Super Villains, and Captain Universe, wow, holy crap, and we still have a whole freaking box to go, guys, I see a little bit more comics, oh, I'm taking them, I'm picking them up, oh, okay, the Dark Knight, Batman the Dark Knight, you see that? Batman the Dark Knight. Cool. Let's see, Harbinger. Look at this. Golden Age Jetsons, 12 centers. Jughead. Oh man. The Golden Magazine. Ripley's Believe It or Not. Yogi Bear. Magilla Gorilla. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, the oohs and ahs, guys. You got to deal with them because it's really happening. Okay. Okay. Oh, my gosh. There's sets of cards, guys. Sets of cards, comics, more comics. I think this is going to be the last comic right here. Okay, these are going to be the last Huckleberry Hound. And then Ozzy Smith. Let's see what the heck. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh, Game Face. That's what all these are. Game Face, the Indian Scorebook Magazine. He's got a ton of those. So that's what came in there. Let's see here. Whoa. Keith Johnson. Holy crap. These are good ones. These are good. We have Michael Jordan. Sheesh. Kirby Puckett. Oh, okay. All right. So, all right. So, definitely a lot going on. We definitely have a lot of cards here that accompanied these comics. Super cool. The comics look amazing. These look great, too. Look at this. These are the refractor ones that have the multiple pictures. That's actually a really good box as well. So we'll put that on there. And we'll keep picking at the bottom. Oh, it's at the bottom of these game faces. That's it on the game faces. Tons of cards. More game faces. Let's see. Let's see the kind of cards are in here. Uh, 1988 Oscar Mayer Lion Set. Okay. Okay. We got baseball cards. More baseball cards. Let's see. Wow. Crazy, man. Crazy. gonna be that box guys let's look at two more okay tons of different 80s guys this is gonna be 80s and this is gonna be 80s as well guys wow what an insane box i mean all these blue boxes are gonna probably have more cards more sets none of them are gonna have penny sleeves i don't think because they can't fit or shut on um 
on the cards, guys. So look at all that, though. I mean, there's just tons of different stuff. Tons of good comics. This was a really good box, guys. Really good box. And that's going to be the whole row. Well, guys, that was that episode. You see me here standing next to this awesome safe. Can't lie, it is cracked. But that does not mean that nothing is inside of the safe, right? Um, a lot a lot of cards that we've seen today. We've seen a lot of cards. Uh, but, guys, cards are super exciting. I think it's probably one of the most valuable things you honestly can find, especially in the condition that we're finding them in. And today, we did get rid of that one whole row, and we did find an awesome safe. We did find money, guys. The total was... Um, I don't know if I want to tell you guys the total, but there was a lot of hundreds. So we'll put it like that. A lot of hundreds, guys. I'm speechless with the hoarder house, guys. At any time, anything could happen. This place is legendary. We'll see you guys next episode where we can see what's inside of this safe.